Welcome. I'm going to show you how to edit the 12 layout frame mockup in Photopea. First, go to photopea.com in any web browser, p h o t o p e a.com. I'm using Google Chrome just because it worked better than Safari. So, if you're having trouble with your web browser, you might want to try Google Chrome. And once that loads, just go to Open from Computer to open the mockup. And then it'll just let you know that it's loading. And you'll see that message for a, <clears throat> a few seconds. And once it does load, we're going to do a lot of work in this Layers panel here. So if you don't see the Layers panel, just go to Window, Layers to bring it up. And you're going to see a bunch of frame layouts. You can just click this little arrow in the frame layouts layer to expand or collapse the uh, frame layouts groups. And you're just going to select your desired frame layout and click the arrow in that, uh, that layer group. And then once you've picked that frame layout, you just want to double click on the thumbnail icon for that layout. So like here where it says design hyphen, you want to double click the thumbnail icon in that layer. And that's going to open up a smart object. And we're just going to copy and paste our design right into the smart object. So next we'll go to file open to open up the design. And then we'll go to select all and edit copy. And we'll click back on the smart object tab. And then we'll go to edit paste to paste it right into the smart object. And if you need to resize this at all, just hold down the shift key and click on any one of the four corners, dragging it in to size it down or out to make it a little bit bigger. And then when you're good with that, you can just go to file, save smart object to save it. And after a few seconds, it'll let you know it updated. You can just click the little X to close the smart object. And then you can close your original design too. And you'll see it put the design right in the frame, just like that, that easily. And to uh, select a background, you want to click the eye icon in this backgrounds layer to turn the backgrounds on. And then you can click the little arrow in the backgrounds layer group to expand the layer group and you'll see these six backgrounds here. You can just click the eye icon next to each layer to toggle them on and off and select a background. And then when you found the one you want to use, you can just save it. If you go to File, Export as JPEG, you can save a JPEG for use as a thumbnail on uh, Etsy and sites like that. If you want an original with the layers, you can save a PSD file. Please let me know if you have any questions by messaging me at melissabmockups.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you'll get updates to future videos. Remember, this mockup and other mockups are available at melissabmockups.com. Thank you, and have a wonderful night.